What is going on, snipers? Naeem Alobadi here. This is our live stream. If you guys are watching this after it's already published, feel free to use the 1.25x speed in the settings below. Let's go ahead and roll our intro and get started with tonight's price predictions. <laughs> So what we're pretty much going to do right now is take a look at several different price predictions over the next couple of weeks and then also take some requests from our viewers. We have a ton of live viewers on right now and we're going to make sure that we can bring you guys the best quality and value adding content during this live stream. So let's go ahead and just start looking at Bitcoin's price. Obviously, this is the big mamma jammo of all cryptocurrency. Everybody knows about bitcoin but now we're seeing all these other coins starting to roll on into the scene and it's exciting to see that so let's go ahead and just kind of start talking about what we're seeing here with these coins and what's happening guys so if we're looking at price movements right now you can see here we've got the rsi open if you guys are new welcome to snipers too this is where you guys are going to learn so rsi relative strength index that's the rsi if it's over 70 something is overbought healthy levels you're looking for rsi between 30 and 70 under 30 you're pretty much underbought so that's not necessarily going to work we just got a super chat by the way from ornis orins thank you so much orins for the super chat he said hey naeem want to discuss xrb no rush awesome good one Thank God you put it in in the beginning because now we can go ahead and put that in our sticky notes. So we'll go ahead and go over XRB before the end of this live stream. We're also going to be giving away some books today. Maybe one book, two books. We'll see. Um, but we'll definitely be giving away some awesome books. If you guys are not on our Discord, by the way, we just updated our resources. If you guys go to resources, we added some new resources here. If you guys want to know how we use these charts, if you guys want to know what exchanges we use, it's all under our Discord. The link is in the description below. I highly implore you guys, if you're not there already, to get on there. Trading 101 here. Let's go in and look at these charts here, guys. We actually had an awesome video today by one of our first content creators talking about these price movements. And let's kind of look at this channel here. So, Bitcoin has been in this channel for quite a while now. If you look at the channel, we're finding some clear support right around twelve hundred and one. I'm sorry, twelve thousand two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. If Bitcoin was twelve hundred dollars, I would probably buy some. What about you guys? Would you guys buy Bitcoin if it was at two hundred dollars right now? Let's see what you guys say. Would you guys buy Bitcoin if it was at two hundred dollars right now? Let's see what the audience has to say. Yes, 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 yes. Bitcoin professors, new Patreon member, thank you so much. Yes, if you're a Patreon, you're receiving our trading alerts. So you guys saw this today when I put that, uh, I posted that on our Patreons. If you guys are under that tier, somebody said yes. Somebody said nope. Well, Mr. Monroe, you're not going to have a good day, man, because you'll miss out on a lot of money. Somebody said y Yvette Jackson said yes. K Karan said yes. Craig Bryan said no way. Tito said yes. <laughs> Yannick said tons. That's fun. Mr. Parker. I'm not a financial advisor. Yeah, me either guys. I'm not a financial advisor. No advice here Legally, nobody can give financial advice because then you're held liable, right? Thank you, Mitch. Appreciate the super chat. So let's kind of look at this price pattern here So I'm gonna be using some new indicators for you guys today uh, First time that I'm adding one uh, in a week. So I typically like to do this. I understand the psychology of learning and you can't just you guys ever heard this this is what my mentor taught me he said name when you're trying to teach somebody something you never want to open up a fire hydrant you don't you don't, want to, you don't want to open a fire hose you want to be able to give them little sips you know you want them to just go walk up to a water fountain take some sips of water and then there it's a lot more enjoyable than opening up a fire hose right into somebody's face so I'm not going to fire hose any of you guys, uh, but I am going to give you guys some sips of water here and some sips of knowledge, some sips of wisdom, some sips of education, not from me, but from the mentors that have taught me. So what is these three lines here, right? So if you guys want to actually click these lines, by the way, we're using our trading view chart. The link is in the description below for trading view. If you guys saw our video today, there was another chart mentioned there, which is uh, coin G, I believe. Don't use that. Uh, however, I'm going to show you guys how this works. So first of all, which indicator is this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and actually make these lines a little bit thicker. If you guys don't know, you can make these lines thicker since we're going to be using this today. So if you right click here, you can click insert indicator. This is one of my favorite moving average indicators. You type in three moving averages and this pops up here. 
the moving average is extremely important in trading guys let's go ahead and give you guys the dummy version here maybe it'll explain it better than I can but you type in moving average here on Google if Google were to work here on this new computer that we have that doesn't work with Google apparently moving averages let's see if there's a better definition here a succession of averages derived from successive segments typically of constant size and overlapping of a series of values a simple moving average is an arithmetic some of you guys are going to ask what does arithmetic mean arithmetic means a branch of mathematics that consists of the study of numbers especially the properties of the traditional operations on them addition subtraction multiplication and division that's what arithmetic means so when you go to school they teach you arithmetic math adding subtracting multiplication and division for those of you that don't know so it's a mathematical quote-unquote moving average calculated by adding the closing price of the security for a number of time periods and this is the key here time periods and then dividing this total by the number of time periods short-term averages can act as levels of support when the price experiences a pullback and that's exactly what we're going to look at here in Bitcoin's chart so it's about the time periods and that's why I like the three moving averages because it does show you the 50 day the 100 day and the 200 day uh, and you can actually program it to do that the way you do that is you click on it and you can go to inputs 50 day 100 day 200 day and then the source which is where the arithmetic numbers are coming from arithmetic means mathematical numbers are coming from the closing price which is what you want to look at this is how I was able to predict that Bitcoin was in a correct to the levels that it corrected to and I'll show you exactly how so let's get out of this one minute chart because it doesn't look that good but the one hour chart always looks good right so when you look here guys I actually predicted that we were gonna start heading towards the 50-day moving average if you pull up this one day chart you can see exactly how that happened so this is really where the 50 day was here if you uh, by the way if you don't know how to tell which one is which you go here length one length two length three and then up here one two three if you guys don't know how to input these on the right hand side you just double click the background here double click these little arrows let me pull this up and then you can pretty much change the chart however you want so you go to properties and you can change everything here if you want to add these little indicators I'll show you exactly how symbol labels indicator labels and so forth so that can help you if you are a beginner so um, I know we got some super chats two twenty dollars super chats Wow thank you so much are you guys learning a lot so far by the way I know we're going through this piece by piece piece by piece but it's beginners training here guys I know a lot of you guys are new but yes we'll do XRB thank you Orens. Uh we did get Mitch thank you Mitch God fear 17 two bucks smash the like everybody smash the like let's see how fast we can get the like button to go up Let's see if we can break it you guys ever seen the like button break. Let's all hit it in five four three two one Let's see if it breaks <laughs> I Can't even tell you are awesome. Love the lessons charts and life. Thank you sweet chow appreciate that Tom Ashley rivets shout out snipers tubes mods and admins. We're all going to the moon. Thanks to snipers tubes Yes, guys, our community has been just thriving, and it's not because of me. It's because of our content creators. It's because of you guys engaging in our Discord. We've had such an awesome time. Everybody is saying yes that, that this is helping, right? Yes? Is this helping? Ben Schultz says you've taught me so much. That's good. So um, let's go ahead and continue this little mini lesson that we're doing here. Mr. JPP, thanks, Sniper Stube. You're welcome, brother. Thank you. Ben Bachman said Cardano price in three weeks. We'll look at Cardano today. So Bitcoin, long story short, we corrected to the 50-day moving average, guys. So the 50-day moving average was right around 12,700, 12,500, and that's exactly where we corrected to. If we went below this number, I would have been concerned, but I'm not concerned because we stayed within there, found some support levels. Now we're seeing the prices starting to increase, but not necessarily increasing in my opinion. We're just following the channel that we were meant to follow. So I was able to profit off of all of this because of the fact that I knew we had a channel form here, guys. You see, this is support. This is resistance. We're going to be going back and forth between these channels until we make a breakout. Whether that breakout is going to be positive or negative, right now we have a higher chance of that becoming positive as we're more than 50% towards this top of the channel. So as long as we can start testing these resistance levels, that means the demand is being tested, right? Supply and demand determines price. Then we can start seeing prices break out for Bitcoin. 
go back to these all-time highs around 19,800 to break through 20,000 and then possibly see a $50,000 Bitcoin. I can see that happening as long as we continue this upward price movement. Worst case scenario, we break support levels down here. So this turns red, right? We break these support levels. We drop down in price. Guess what happens? We'll probably start correcting, in my opinion, in my humble but accurate opinion. I'd say around $6,000 because that's where we found previous support here. Other than that, this does not, this for me isn't considered support. Um, what I do like about this, we'll go ahead and also pull up the EMA, or should I not confuse you guys? I don't know. Should I confuse you guys? Are you guys okay with multiple indicators? I don't know. Maybe we should ask before we do something like that, right? You guys okay if I uh, use multiple indicators? Or are you guys still uh, learning? Let's see what you guys have to say. Who's on right now? So hopefully that helped you guys. Let's take some requests. <laughs> Aaron said humble but accurate. LOL. That is hilarious. In spirit said EMA all right. Do it. Yes, do it. Yes, do it. Do it. Julio Torres said confuse us. Majed said yes. Fabricio, please give me your opinion. And then it went away. Yvette said learning. I'm glad you're learning, Yvette. Daniela is here. Good to have you. Teddy Kim is here. Good to have you. Stefan Kennedy. Mike Taylor is here. John Skisimi. Ryan Hilberg. Danielle Wax. Good to have you. Johan is here in the house. Raymond's in the house. Look at that. Paul's in the house. Tim Beck. Somebody said LaCroix fan. Yeah, thank you. That's what I was missing. I was missing my LaCroix. <laughs> ADA, ADA, always here. Tyler Sparks said, always here. Good, man. Hello, Danielle. You said hi again and again and again. I guess you're trying to get the attention, right? Armin, tech analysis boost. Sabian, TRX, gate. Okay, let's not read that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's kind of, let's get, let's get started. We're going to take some requests, guys. Obviously, you guys want to see Cardano. You want to see TRX. Glenn, thank you so much. We'll do BCN. I'll put that on the list here. We're definitely going to look at Cardano. We're going to look at these bigger coins, of course. Michael Sarah said ECA mooning. Talk about OMG, please. I think OMG is undervalued. That's what I think. XRP, yes. Thank you so much, Mitch. We'll do XRP. What else do we got here? Mr. Big 70, 777. 777. Anybody here ever flew a 777, a Boeing? Anybody here flew a Boeing? Anybody here float in Boeing 777? Let's get down to the business, guys. Let's stop playing around here, guys. Come on. Stop playing around, guys. Let's pull up uh, XRB, right? Everybody wants to look at XRB, but it's not even on here, so that's fine. Even though they just added all Binance coins onto TradingView. So I do apologize for that super chat request. We can't look at Rayblox. However, I know we did a video on Rayblox, so we'll actually pull up. XRB on this side here. Nobody's ever flown a 777? Dylan W said, yeah, I fly, bro. That's awesome, Dylan. It's a big freaking airplane, man. Hopefully that Armin said flew in one. That's good. Shout out to England. <laughs> Interesting. All right, guys. Uh, we'll do Ray Blocks here. So what is Ray Blocks? It's this whole new technology that everybody's excited about because you know it has this super fast transaction speed and it's not even like regular blockchain it's its own blockchain and it's only available on certain exchanges and people are predicting and i i did too i said you know if it gets on a different exchange a more major exchange like binance or polynix or bitrix then we can certainly see price movements heading upwards i still agree with that i think it's definitely going to be interesting to see where this heads um, just know this guys when you see these type of parabolic price movements you always have to be cautious you know um, we saw this huge run-up yesterday with Ray blocks after I posted that video uh, and what was interesting about this run-up if you look at it uh, we're finding support which is good and as long as we continue to find support when you see these huge run-ups I think that's always the best sign uh, that we're gonna be able to maintain these prices because support levels are important without support levels you have no real ground and to have ground is to have confidence. And to have confidence allows you to make your trades with boldness and authority, knowing that I know exactly where this trade may end up heading based upon its previous support levels because the best predictor of the future is history. 
Shout out to Angie A. Super chat donation. Thank you so much, brother. In your opinion, is it still worth it to buy TRX at 0.07, ADA at $1.10, and Stellar 075s, or wait for the dip? Thanks. Good one, Age. We'll talk about that today. Here's what I'll tell you. In a market like this where we're heading towards a trillion dollar market, you guys have heard this time and time again from me, and I always talk about us heading towards a trillion dollar total market cap. Right now, we're hitting all time highs, guys. We're at $695 billion. I don't expect that to stop. I expect our market cap to head towards a trillion, and heading towards a trillion, we're going to see a lot of coins rise in value. Which coins are we going to primarily see rise in value? The ones that are undervalued, right? So a lot of these coins, there's a difference between having a speculative value and an intrinsic value. And I'll share something with you guys that my mentor, who actually had an ICO called the Dribble Network, raised $10 million, taught me recently. He said, Naeem, he said, you have to understand this. In the market that we're in, in the market that we're playing in, a lot of coins, especially Bitcoin, has had a lot of attention and speculative value typically goes towards the asset class that has the most attention. Why? Because that's what's in the news. That's what people are talking about. You go around, you say, you ever heard of Bitcoin? Somebody's like, yeah, I've heard of that thing. I just don't know what it is, right? What do people say when you ask? Let's let's pull up the chat here. What, what, what do you like if you guys have ever asked somebody have you heard about bitcoin i'm sure some of you have what responses have you guys gotten this is what i've gotten before you guys answer i'll tell you what i've gotten oh well, i've heard of that i just never i don't really know what it is i've never really looked into it i've heard of that yeah i've, I've heard of it. silk road is that like the illegal payment method or that digital currency what what have people told you guys somebody said um Past my super chat. Substratum later, please. Zachariah, we got you, brother. We'll do substratum. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, brother. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know, bro. They asked me if they have to buy a whole coin. Good one, Andrew. I like that you mentioned that. So for those of you that don't know, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy a fractionalized version of Bitcoin. It's called Satoshi value. So you guys don't have to buy a full Bitcoin. You want to put $100 in Bitcoin? You can do that. You can buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. That's what it was designed to do. That's what Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of Bitcoin, wanted Bitcoin to become. Somebody said, uh, I have heard of it. It's that thing that you use to transfer money to another person. That's very good. I would be, I would be so rich if I'd gotten it a year ago. You hear that all the time. It's a scam. Oh my God, how dumb. Now everyone I tell about this knows about all the alts by now. Uh, I don't know. Ponzi scheme. Somebody said... Uh, predication for land unregulated yeah i just don't know enough to get into it i heard that a lot right so here, here's the difference guys now when you go to somebody somebody daniel said bitcoin is the gateway drug if you go to somebody and you say have you heard of ripple have you heard of ethereum what do you typically get right what do you typically get um no what's that I'll tell you a story right here. Here's a real, real case, real case study here. So I was with my mentor having a conversation about investments because he's been a day trader for over 30 years, traded through the dot com bubble, traded through the, the late 90s, traded throughout many different points of time that were significant in our history here in the United States of America. If you're international, welcome to Sniper's Tube. But he had really honed in on the fact that. If you don't know something, you don't know about it, right? When you find out about it, that right there has now become a form of speculation. And I want to keep you guys here. So understand this. Bitcoin is in a speculative bubble. That's for sure. Why? Because there's no intrinsic true value to it. If you guys don't know what intrinsic value means, intrinsic value, intrinsic value it's the tangible value the intrinsic value is the actual value of a company or asset based on an underlining perception of its true value including all aspects of the business so we don't understand all aspects of the business right now with bitcoin so with that being said i believe if you're going to put a position in altcoins right now it's definitely a time where altcoins are starting to thrive in the market and I think in 2018, we're going to see a lot of these coins, especially coins that you're currently seeing in real world adoption, like Ripple and Ethereum, start to head towards higher market caps, filling in this market cap towards $1 trillion. We're, we have a long way to go. We have $400 billion, but understand this. 
four months ago in October, I remember this market cap being under 200 billion, consistently around 150 billion, shooting itself up already, more than 100% growth. So what does that mean for Bitcoin? That means Bitcoin, I'm not saying Bitcoin's gonna go down, that's not what I'm saying. We don't know. Bitcoin can continue to rally and take up more of a market cap. I have holdings. You guys want to see my portfolio? I posted my portfolio for our uh, Patreons, guys. Um, if you guys don't know, I actually I do special things for our Patreons. The link is in the description below. And I'll show you an example. of. So this is something I posted today on our uh, Patreon. I'll show you exactly how it looks. So this right here is our Patreons. I'm not going to show you guys everything because you have to be a Patreon, but I pretty much do this for a special special group of you guys, and I posted my portfolio today. I don't mind pulling it up here for you guys. I do my trade alerts on here every single day. Today, I did like four of them. If you guys want trade alerts, the link is in the description below to become a Patreon, but this is my portfolio currently. So this is what I posted for our Patreons, and this was only for our third tier Patreons, which have the trade alerts, and... I pretty much showed you guys exactly how diversified that I'm currently, uh, my current portfolio is looking like right now. So I've got XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin pretty much taking up more than 50% of my portfolio. Why? Because they're stable currencies, in my opinion. Um, I know where support levels have been built. I know Ripple's price action. I know how it typically ends up uh, after these huge run-ups. With Ripple, I'll show you exactly what happened. So when I see Ripple, I see a coin that likes to go up likes to go up and then find support go up find support go up find support go up find support we saw this pennant form right if you guys don't know what a pennant is not only do we have a patreon we also have a free resource here it's called discord the link is in the description below where you guys can see what a pennant looks like okay here's a pennant where does the breakout occur right here on the right hand side you see the snipers logo this is where breakout occurs so I know how Ripple acts. It's 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 like it's almost second nature to me. So that's how I know how to position myself. And I'm not saying this is the best portfolio in the world. I'm not saying that I know more than any of you guys. I just know that I want to allocate my assets properly in order to maintain my risk management. And here's another thing I'll tell you. This isn't where I want my portfolio to be. I want at least 20 coins right now. I'm looking at more coins. I could have added TRX and Tron to this, but I didn't, and we saw this breakout. Is it a good time to buy now? I'm still watching prices, so we're gonna look at these today. But hopefully this is helping somebody out. Is this helping out anybody? Say yes if this is helping anybody out right now. Let me see what you guys are saying. Yes, yes. This is when I, let's see portfolio. <laughs> somebody said, what the F is Bitcoin yesterday? <laughs> Good to have Joe Fridge said yes. A Thomas said yes. The Cause Money said no. Well, there's an X button on the right hand side, buddy. You can click that. It's red. You ever seen that? Johnny Johnson said yep. David said yes. I love it. I love it. Alan Jameson said yes. Andrew said yes. Hell yes. I love it. Awesome, guys. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. Love it. What portfolio app do you use? Event, I use coin stats coin stats. It's actually all of my resources are actually on our discord So I'll actually show you exactly where to see this. So go to resources I actually found a new app called Delta as well Delta type in Delta Bitcoin and you can find that too um, But if you go under tools and you go under uh, Let's see. Oh, yeah mobile applications. I've got coin stats here. I haven't added Delta yet because one of them, um, yeah, one of them, long story. Anyways, um, the Patreon link is in the description below. We actually just crossed 12,000 members, guys, so it's very exciting. We had a huge run-up. By the way, tonight we're going to be doing a Night Owl after this live stream, so if you guys want to actually talk to me, ask me questions one-on-one -on -one through your voice chat. If you guys don't want to talk and you're an introvert, you want to listen in, that's fine as well. We That's where we really get into in-depth, uncensored crypto talk. As you can see, we have a full house already under uh, this voice chat, but we're going to be under, uh, it's going to be under live stream night owl chat tonight. So we're going to have a night owl like we do every single night. Um, and then you guys can have an actual dialogue two way conversation with me. And that's going to be open to everybody watching this stream, not just our uh, patrons today. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up this chart, guys. Let's take some requests from you guys. 
uh, and I'm going to add to the request list. We do have a couple coins like Substratum that we want to look at. Let's go ahead and complete our Ripple analysis here. So we're pretty much still within this pennant, guys. It's just extended itself just a little bit here. You can see it's forming extremely nice. Prices are getting more and more narrow. You see here we saw a little bit of a red consolidation. We're over the EMA. If you guys don't know what the EMA is, it's this blue line right over here. I'll go ahead and darken that for you guys so that you guys can see it. It stands for the exponential moving average. And something you want to look for when watching the exponential moving average, you want to see if something like the if you see this candlesticks bouncing on top of the EMA. There's three ways that you can use the EMA. It's either going to be a negative price movement where the candlesticks are below the EMA. If it's on top of the EMA, then it's more so going to form a channel. But if it's over the EMA, you're going to see positive price movements. And what you're really looking for is this right here where you see it bounce. So I would have been able to predict this breakout based on this one bounce here. Bounce, bounce, and I would have known right here, okay, the EMA is bouncing on itself. This is an indicator that price movements start heading up. And that would have been a positive gain for me. Not only that, you could have looked at the RSI. If you guys don't know how to use the RSI, I'm sorry. Um you're looking for healthy RSI's between 30 and 70. So anything over 70 would be considered overbought. And that's not something that you would want to um, look into. It doesn't always work. There's no guarantees once again. Uh, however, it, it is pretty foolproof uh, to a certain extent as much as it can be. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up some requests, guys. So let's fill up some requests here uh, and take the requests and put them on our list here so that we can ensure that we go through all of your requests tonight and have an awesome live stream here so what do you guys want to look at ray blocks Polly said ltc craig said ada somebody said xvg verge that's an interesting one isn't it brent said i don't even know there's so many people now oh my gosh we're gonna have to use the super chat at this point there's so many people talking here. ADA. Byron said ADA. Awesome. ADA. Okay, we'll look at Cardano in just a second. That will be next. Sorry, I'm just making sure this is done. So let's look at um, Cardano after XRP. So by the way, for XRP, the way you play a pennant, if it breaks out of here, that's going to be a good move. I'm still holding my ripple because I've seen it break out multiple times. Breakout forms the support breakout forms the support breaks out form the support i'm expecting another breakout if it does start falling no big deal just set up my stop losses right down here i would set up a stop loss if you guys would like to know exit price right i was having a conversation today by one of our legacy members it's it's, it's one of our dynasty members it's a, a tier under patreon so on our patreon there's one level it's called dynasty where you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with me you know is pretty much as much as you want and it's almost like a private mentorship course and i was having a conversation with this individual very successful in his own right his his you know started multi-million dollar businesses um looking to get into crypto and invest in crypto we were just having a great conversation um he actually lives right by me so it's going to be really cool we're going to be meeting up soon uh but he talked about finding your entry exit points right your entry and your exit points so uh, I thought that was huge. It helped me so much that he mentioned that because I was like, yeah, you're right. That's actually a good way. It's so it's something so simple, but so important. So my exit point right now with Ripple being that I'm already at a profit, I bought at the breakout. I would say, obviously, prices did go down here. However, I wouldn't risk that completely. The channel is pretty much forming support right here around 113, 1,000, let's see, 13,870 Satoshis. And at that level, I would probably set up 50% of my sell profit loss right here around 13,244 Satoshis. And then set up another 50% right under this, if it breaks this support right around 12,000 to ensure that I'm maintaining as much profits as possible. Let's pull up ADA BTC Cardano. We got a request for Cardano. So let's go ahead and pull it up and see what is happening here with Cardano and Pretty much right now with Cardano, you can see very similar to Ripple. We formed these breakouts, formed support, formed a breakout, formed support. But what's cool about Cardano, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but it likes to curve. If you guys see this, it loves to curve. Um, and if you look at the three moving averages here, I know this is we're getting a little bit more technical. We have a lot of new viewers here right now. I don't want to be too technical. But these lines, the red, green, and blue, signify the moving averages. And we're looking to see where are the 
candlesticks based upon the moving averages. And the best way to look at it is to look at a one day chart and see exactly how skewed it is. So you can see we're far, far away from this moving average. And then all other moving averages, as you can see, are pretty much not even showing itself here. And with this price movement, what I would say with Cardano, because I am positioned in Cardano right now, you can see a couple different channel and support levels form here. Let me go ahead and clear this out for you guys so that this can be a little bit more self-taught here so you guys aren't as confused. So there's clear support levels right around, it looks to be 5,050 Satoshis. And then we're finding some resistance right around, looks to be about 5,998 Satoshis, which we've just broken the resistance level. Now, what I'd be interested to see is, are we going to be forming support around this resistance? So in my opinion, we're starting to see the potential breakout of Cardano being that we saw this initial breakout. Now, what I like about this graph is we're under 70 RSI and we're bouncing on top of EMA. So is Cardano going to go up? I think so. In my opinion, and I'm holding Cardano already, so I don't even even need to make this trade. You guys just saw my portfolio. Um, we will see upward price movement. Remember this, guys. You can never determine exact prices, and you can never determine the magnitude of an increase or a decrease, but you can always determine the price movement, which is the up or down. So somebody said, how do you predict price movement? So the best way is to use patterns and indicators because patterns and indicators are looking at historical charts and prophesizing the future of this chart because of this past chart if that makes any sense so what do i mean by that well we have this free resource so none of you guys are obliged to do this but if you're watching this you obviously have an interest in cryptocurrency well why don't you get into it out from and get out of the outside world and get into the inside world why because the people in the outside world are you guys ever heard the, the 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 saying buy the hype sell the news well guess what if you're in the outside all you're doing is selling you're buying at the news where we're selling at the news making profits and that's why 90 percent of day traders lose money because it's a market where if you want to make money you better be able to take money away from somebody else this isn't this isn't a game this isn't a board game guys this is the true nature of the market like this is real life this is real money that we're playing with i was having a conversation with this individual today he's one of our um dynasty members in sniper soup and you know he pays a pretty good amount he shall i say he invests a pretty good amount to become a dynasty member and get that one-on-one -on -one time with me but you know he's run multi multi-million dollar businesses he doesn't have time to go out and just research all this stuff on his own he works he's running two companies he's got a small team helping him and at the end of the day you have to understand i'm you know obviously a lot of people are working nine to fives a lot of you guys have families you guys have children you guys have other priorities and why am i talking about all this i'll tell you why because this matters in trading if you're not trading then just be a value investor there's three types of investors if you're writing notes a value investor, a day trader, and a swing trader. A day trader is trading 20 or 30 times a day. A swing a swing trader is trading every three days, every four days, week to week, month to month. A value investor looks at a technology, looks at the team behind it, looks at the leadership, looks at the potential of the future, and then invests long-term inside of that technology. So tonight, our focus is going to be on value investments for the night owl. So after this live stream, guys, we're all going to be heading towards the night owl. So instead of having a one-way monologue conversation where I'm talking to you, you guys can actually dialogue and have a two-way conversation. And for those of you that don't want to talk or ask questions, you just listen in. We get tons of introverts that like to come in and just kind of be in the inner circle. And what I'm telling you guys right now, in order to succeed in any market, you must be part of the inner circle. And being part of an inner circle allows you to get information faster than the outer circle or the outer world or the majority of people. So, you know, we hit 12,000 members on Discord. That's a huge feat for us. But here's another thing my mentor taught me, guys, and this is really important. This is really important in trading. If you guys know about artificial intelligence, you guys know there are certain types of super intelligence, right? There, There's, there's different types of, uh, you know, there's like 
the computer artificial super intelligence where you have these supercomputers that have you know all of these different programs and you know they're just wired in a way where they have almost like this humanistic intelligence right that's one form of super intelligence there's another form of super intelligence where it's more so a, a form of intelligence that's gathered upon you know technical things like numbers and things of that nature but the most powerful form of artificial intelligence in my opinion is collaborative intelligence and collaborative intelligence i i firmly believe that this blockchain system and the the distributed ledger technology that we have that allows you to to, to make a transaction get it verified with no proof of fraud no sort of vulnerability to manipulation is going to create this new type of world intelligence called collaborative intelligence where we collaborate together and come up with these new ideas and that's why we have the discord that's why we have our patreon that's why we have all of these resources for you guys and it's so important anyways sorry for rambling on so obviously there's a breakout here for cardano we're over ema i can definitely see price movements heading upwards we're under 70 rsi there's a lot of room to grow here um so if you're day trading this could be a potential day trade once again, this is not financial advice. Legally, I can't give financial advice. However, what I will say is I can definitely see price movements heading upwards here for Cardano, being that we're breaking this channel positive. It's done it a couple times before. We're heading towards a trillion dollar market. All the signs are there. All the lines are lining itself up. We're, we're right on track to see this start heading upwards. So um, let's go ahead and take some more requests. I know we had xrp that's done uh we did xrb i know we didn't do as much with Rayblox, but like i said i think as soon as Rayblox gets on these major exchanges we'll see some huge price movement so let's look at your request guys who's on tonight who do we got on tonight let's see who's on tonight who do we got somebody said vrc somebody said eth ethereum you guys saw ethereum breakout we called that one i told you guys I see Ethereum over a thousand dollars in 2018 for sure, 100%. I think it hasn't seen the prices it's supposed to see. Let's see what you guys are uh, talking about here. Savage said XVG. Muhammad said Verge. We did get some super chats. I do want to address those. Thank you so much for the super chats. Any chance of a video explaining ICO and how they work, how to make money from it, etc. Good question, Sweet Chow. So what I would say for an ICO, I have a criteria that I look for. There's three things, four things that I look for. Number one, I look at the team. What is the team behind this ICO? Is the team reliable? Does this team add value to this specific project? And I look at the CEO, I look at the founder, I look at the co-founder, I make sure that there is a reliable, stable team there. Number two, what I look for is, does this have a potential to have mass adoption, right? So you look at any ICO, you wanna see, all right, does this have an opportunity to be adopted by the masses? Because if it doesn't, then what is the point of investing in something like that? Unless you're day trading or swing trading, making trades off of volatile price movements, that's completely different. However, that's kind of like the gist of my ICO analysis. Um, I also look for a third aspect of, does it solve a problem? Is there an actual use case to this? Does this have, my mentor taught me this, he said, Naeem, if you want to succeed in life, just help as many people as you can solve their problems. All your problems will be solved. That's what he said. He says, just tell people solve their problems and you'll be solved. I'm like, okay, sure. Let me let me go on YouTube and just show people how to look at charts. Even though I could just look at the charts and trade it myself and do it myself. Why don't I just share the knowledge? Why don't I create a community? Why don't I add value in other ways? You know, and that's what goes through my mind every single day, guys. And I'm so blessed to be a part of this community and, you know, be, you know, at the forefront of it. And, you know, it's not about me, but I thank God every single day that I wake up. I wake up and I'm like, thank you, God, for putting me in this position, guys. Thank you so much, Lars. Congrats on 20,000. Yes. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, we're going to take these requests. Somebody said Tron. We're going to definitely look at Tron. Why no EOS in your portfolio? I was looking to buy a large amount ASAP. Good timing for a long hold. Daniel Shaw, I was actually waiting for a position. EOS is one of my favorite coins, uh, at least in the anticipation of 2018, being that it's it's such a great technology. It's like an Ethereum on steroids. If you guys know about EOS, I definitely look into it. Um, Brock Pierce, who actually uh, heads, you know, started EOS, is very, 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 uh, very focused individual. Um, if you look at EOS here on the charts here, let's pull it up here. 
Um, go ahead and type in EOS here. Uh, I've been looking to put in a good position there. I've been waiting. Um, as you can see, prices are down Satoshi level wise. And let's go ahead and just pull it up actually. We'll just lead right into it. Thank you for the uh, super chat, by the way. And I do want to give a couple new shout outs here. We did get some new Patreons. Um, and that truly does help us uh, with the, the building of this community. Shout out to uh, Boam Bak Chong. Thank you so much, brother, for becoming a new Patreon. Shout out to uh, Keith Moonshower, becoming a new Patreon. Shout out to uh, Richie Mitchell. I look forward to seeing you in our uh, Patreon private calls that we do on Discord. Shout out to Neil Doshi. Become a new Patreon. Shout out to Tyler Medevec. Aiden Lewis. Sounds like a football player. Michael Silver. Shout out to Michael. Shout out to Cian Wolf. Shout out to Armin Darvish. Thank you, Armin. Shout out to Ali. Shout out to Alan Jameson. Thank you guys so much for becoming new Patreon members. Uh, that truly does help our community. And actually, yeah, Alan, you're going to be getting trade alerts. Some of you guys got VIP uh, tiers and stuff, so all of that has different things involved. But where am I going to put my position here on EOS? Why don't we take a look at the chart? Uh, I am looking to put in a position just because of the technology and where it's at. But the reason I didn't put a position is because we broke these support levels. And whenever we break support levels, I'm cautious as to where I want to put my position. And right now we're forming this new channel down here. However, I don't f see as much stability as I'd like to see when buying a position in my case the one thing i do like about where the price is at right now is the rsi is extremely low of course we're still heading towards this curve and in my opinion what we are forming here is uh, a, a clear pattern here um you see this rounding bottom down here and then you saw rsi stayed really low down here but then we move up to this area we're seeing this starting to consolidate form a little bit of support and now that we're not over the ema it kind of, you know, it didn't scare me. I don't, I don't ever get scared, by the way. You shouldn't be scared because this isn't an emotional game. If you are emotional about your trades, you're going to lose a lot of money. You have to be a logical member to understand the psychology of your trades, not necessarily the emotional aspect of it. However, when looking at this chart, you know, there are some signs here that I'm just kind of uncertain about. And when I'm uncertain, I'm 100% uncertain. You know, there's no such thing. My mentor taught me, he said, Naeem, there's no such thing as kind of uncertain. You're either uncertain or you're sure. Like, this is probably a bad example, but like, you're not going to go up to somebody and say, like, are you sure you killed that guy? Like, if the guy is like, well, I don't know. Like, what, <laughs> like did you kill him or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's no uncertainty there. If you're uncertain, then you're uncertain. So I think some people, they kind of, they, they, they wobble back and forth between certainty and uncertainty when making their trades. And when I feel uncertain, I'm uncertain. That's just the case of the nature. I'm not losing anything by not trading this right now and not putting in my position. So I'm watching it. I'm just not putting in my position. So I'm still waiting to see what's going to happen. We're well and above and beyond the 50 day moving average here which is also you know a, a different uh, you know there's just a lot of things about this chart that i don't like right now and i'm waiting to see what price movements and what patterns are going to uh, occur as this this matures but eos in general as a long-term hold for me is definitely there however i would like to get it at the most discounted prices and you should too so you're looking to get discounts guys buy in the red sell in the green that is a basic principle. If you're writing notes down, I've been t talking about this for a long time. Buy in the red, sell in the green. One of the most basic trading principles that exists. So let's go ahead and dive right into this, guys. Um, let's take some of your requests. I know we have a couple more requests here from Super Chat. Uh, somebody said sub. Let me pull up the Super Chat because I know I probably missed some. And I do apologize. We just have a ton of people here. So when we pull up the super chat here, guys, let's see what everybody's saying. Uh, thank you so much for the super chats, guys. Smash that like button. Somebody said, guys, let me ask you a question. Let's, let's take a poll really quick. We'll actually do it live here. If you guys have any sort of holdings in Ripple, I want to see how many of you guys have Ripple. Like this video right now. Let's see how many people have holdings in Ripple. So we're at 391. It's the best way to do a poll, right? Just use the like button. So we have 390. So I guess two people have Ripple right now. Not bad. That's what I was looking for. Just wanted to make sure. I just wanted some confidence that, you know, 
that people were holding it. I might, I might end up selling. Oh, look at that. 400, 526 likes. Okay. So a lot of you guys have Ripple. All right. I'm a little bit more confident now. The fact that it's, you know, 25% of my portfolio. Um, Z Crypto said me. Okay. Everybody has it then, apparently. Um, awesome then. I have Ripple too. Zach Rice said Substream. Thank you, Zach. Uh, Angie. I would, you know, you're talking prices here. I'd rather look at the chart before I look at the prices. EOS, please. Naman, we just did that. Daniel Shaw, thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Sweet Chow. Um, and yeah, we'll have videos of that, guys. This is a community channel, so we have multiple content creators post on this. So we'll have tons of content. You guys will get all of the stuff that you need. Why not EOS in your portfolio? We talked about that. Congrats on 20,000. Yes, we hit 20,000. Thank you, guys. Not me. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Might have missed my super chat. Could you check EOS? Yes, we did. Thank you so much. Sunny said, could you do Colex? Yes, we'll check out Colex as well. So we'll pull up Colex after this one. And then can you look at QSP? Yeah, we can look at QSP for sure. Just bought some of it. Thank you, Jun Lin. Thank you, Sunny, for the super chat. Why don't we, you have any Litecoin in your portfolio? Does it have anything to do with Charlie selling all LTC? Um, good question, Max. You know, to address that question, what I would say... And by the way, thank you, Stan, for the super chat. We will do VA, VEN. But let's look at Litecoin for a second, guys, because this is a good question. If you guys don't know, the founder of Litecoin sold all of his Litecoin. And the question is, is that a good move or not? And what I would say is that wasn't really relevant to my decision. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't. I think that, you know, his coin when he sold it was at this really high price. And, you know, he took his profits. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? But as a leader, is that something that you want to see in a leader? Um, probably not. But here's the thing. To be honest with you, I think he lucked out on himself. I think he screwed himself over. I think this is what this is going to be one of this. It's going to be kind of like the pizza, right? You bought 10,000. You used 10,000 bitcoins to buy pizza. If you guys don't know the story, somebody used 10,000 bitcoins. Let's pull up a calculator really quick and see how much that is worth today. Let's take an average price of a bitcoin. Let's say it's 12,000. We'll lowball it, right? He spent 10,000 Bitcoin, and let's say it's worth right now 12,000. He paid $120 million for a pizza. Let's take a quick survey here. Uh, has anybody here ever had a pizza for $120 million? Let's see what everybody says. Anybody here ever had a pizza for $120 million? And if so, did it taste good? Thank you so much for the super chat, Nevo Expo from Canada. I love my Canadians, Toronto, S love Toronto, Ontario, British Columbia, Sasquatch, and Sasqu I don't need, I can't even say it. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for the super chat. Somebody said, yes, very good. Michael Dennis. Well, man, that must have been really good. H. Polo said, never. Raymond said, why did Charlie Lee do it? Why did he do it? Why did he do it, Charlie? Papa John's. Yeah, right? peak season <laughs> i wish andrew said i wish racquetball says is iota pennant stewart hill papa john's once delivered one yep it was gold plated <laughs> yeah it better be gold plated if i'm paying that much for a pizza better be gold plated somebody said lol shoot myself 12 million times if i had 12 million dollar pizza it's 120 million dollar pizza teddy 120 million dollars not 12, 120. You kidding me? Verge, Vipilian said Verge. Bacardi Man, do you know about Monaco? Monaco. I do know about Monaco. Toronto, William from Toronto. Good to have you. Thank you for the super chats. Great channel. Can you go over Iota and Tron? Yeah, we will do Iota and Tron. Those were actually two that we were definitely going to do. So you came in at a good time, guys. Um, let's go ahead and pull up our LTC chart here. We'll talk about LTC. So the reason I don't have LTC in my portfolio yet is because we're in a descending pattern right now. And in a descending pattern, I'm looking to see where support level is going to form. Now we do see some support here forming around one, let's see, 106, 1,623,000 Satoshis. If you guys don't know what Satoshis are, let's do a quick lesson here. Some of you guys are new and that's fine. That's the point of this channel is to educate the newcomers. Why? Because if you help people solve their problems, your problems will automatically be solved. So let me help you guys. The Satoshi represents 100th millionth of a Bitcoin. So 
Satoshi Nakamoto is who invented Bitcoin. Nobody really knows where he's at now, but he's had a minor influence with Bitcoin's progression over the first couple of, you know, I think, a couple of years of its existence. He did have a role to play, and you know there are emails and interactions that people can find of Satoshi, and he was more of a conservative type of guy. He was not as open to different ideas. He was the type of guy that would be like, I don't think we're ready for that yet. He was a very, you know, probably an analytical you know, introvert type of man. I mean, nothing wrong with that. And those are some of the best leaders, right? So Satoshi represents 100th million of a Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was created, it was created to be a coin that could be fractionalized many, many times in order to be used um, in the everyday marketplace. And that's where Satoshi's come from. It's almost like looking at a dollar. So if you have a dollar bill in your hand and you have cents, right? There's a fractionalized version of the bill. So the Satoshi represents 100th million of a Bitcoin. Small denominations make Bitcoin transactions easier to conduct transactions with. The general unit structure of Bitcoin has one Bitcoin equivalent to 1 million millibitcoins, 1 million microbitcoins, or 100 million Satoshis. So if you guys want to know how to look at that on this right hand side, these decimal places, these are Satoshi values. It goes up to eight decimals. What am I doing? This is not even open yet. That was the ending stream, LaCroix. Somebody said, is that soda? No, this is water. I don't drink soda. Why would I drink soda? This is uh, sparkling water with some essence inside of it. So yeah, we're in a descending pattern. I'm waiting for this chart to mature, guys. Um, that's really what I'm looking for. I mean, these are just some ridiculous patterns. It jumps off the EMA, bounces back on the EMA. It, it shows me there's an instable market here. Does that mean you can get it at good prices? For sure, definitely. I mean, these could be good prices for Litecoin. I'm not saying it's not going to see a run-up. Um, but, you know, w with what we're seeing right now, it's just a little bit too sporadic for me. Um, you know, one of the biggest things about investing, you guys, is it's risk management. You have to ensure your risk is properly allocated and you have correct assets, right? So let's go ahead and take a vote here. Who here has... All right, why don't we do this vote? So I have about, let's say I have about... I posted my portfolio today to our Patreon. So if you're a Patreon, the link is in the description below. I posted my portfolio for all of you guys. But my portfolio right now is sitting around, let's say, 10... 12 let's say 12 coins right and i i'm trying to get it to around 25 to 30 coins because that's really good asset management but how many coins are in your guys's portfolio how about this we'll give away a book i'm actually going to grab this book here we're going to give away i'll show you guys right now we're going to give away this book right here the internet of money we're going to give away the internet of money to one of you guys this is a basic bitcoin book if you guys don't know about books. This is something you can open and read. I know you guys haven't read a book in 10 years, but um, it's so important, guys. You have to know what you're investing in. Somebody said 25, 2, 10, 27, 8. Armin said 5. Alex said 5. Cranking said 6. Cody said 22. Joffrey said 22. Jason Raj said 50. The Bitcoin Danny said 20. Alex Kala said 50. Please review ADA if possible, bro. I bought 18. Thank you for the super chat, Kalibi. ADA to the mood. I like it. I like it, man. Um, AD, I think we already went over that, but we may just touch on it for you once again. Um, Paul said 11. Fatal Fury said 27. So for those of you new to the crypto market, you can see that a lot of people hold a lot of coins, right? Tanner said 12 coins, including two ICOs. I like it. it diversified. Um, 42. Ramu Puri said 42. I like that. That's a, a good amount. That means you're, it's called asset allocation. Fango said 66. You're welcome, brother. Thank you, Mr. Tefara. Stellar Excellent on fire, 6, 2, 10, 4, 5, 8, 2, 5. So if I'm mentoring you guys, Jesse said 14. Lisbeth said 10. Hugo said 4 out of 5. That's good. Talk about why you own salt. I hadn't heard of it until I saw it in your portfolio. Jared, salt is for people who are Bitcoin rich, cash broke, and they want to lend their money, their Bitcoin to receive actual cash, and then they can avoid taxes because you don't pay taxes on lended money in the United States. I have eight, but none of them are the same as in your portfolio. Well, Yvette, you might need to get on this live stream and do it on your own then. I mean, apparently you have your own mindset. I don't mind that. You know what? At the end of the day, guys, you guys, if you're copying somebody's portfolio, 
you know, you're just as good as that person. But if you take perspectives from me and this person, this person, this person, if you go on our discord and you're talking to people, you're asking questions, you guys can ask questions about any coin here. You want to go to stellar, talk about stellar, go talk about stellar. You want to talk about IOTA, talk about IOTA. You want to talk about Bitcoin, talk about Bitcoin. You want to talk about Ethereum, talk about Ethereum. You want to talk about Litecoin. You want to just talk about anything, go to voice channels to pop into the voice channel. We'll pop in right now and say, what up guys? And then disconnect. We can do whatever we want. And I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's a little, you'll get banned. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a really bad my, 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 my mentor said always lead by example that's not a good example um but by the way guys the helpful reads if you guys don't win the book giveaway um if you go to our discord i have all of my favorite books here you might not even want to read this book there are other books here this was the first book i ever read that's why it's close to it's dear to me and dear to my heart however there is other books like mastering bitcoin which is a little bit more advanced uh, I also have that book here as well. I'll show you that book right now. This is actually one of my favorite books here. Um, and this is actually Mastering Bitcoin. And pretty much these two books here, amazing, amazing titles here. Um, what I'll tell you right now, if you guys are looking for some good book recommendations, Mastering Bitcoin here, this is, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's almost like a textbook, but it's written in layman's terms. I mean, if you look at it, it's just everything is so simple here. It helps you understand the distributed ledger. It helps you understand the blockchain. It helps you understand what centralized and decentralized is. What are the differences? Um, this book right here, very good book if you're into investing. So this one is called Principles. Ray Dalio runs one of the largest hedge funds in, in the, I'll show you right now. So you type in Ray Dalio net worth. His net worth is $17 billion one of the world's largest hedge funds and you know very very intellectual individual and he's done it all through the market and he talks about his principles actually one point in the book if i find it here he says in order to have a, a, a the, the the most amount of risk management you must have at least check this out guys look at this i do have it right here so this shows you the risk versus having a specific amount in your portfolio uh in terms of i'll show you right now let me let me zoom this in just a little bit here so if you see here this right here you guys see it this is naeem this is principles i rate alio this right here is a graph showing you what happens when you add more to your portfolio what happens to your risk so you can see your risk ends up dropping oh by the way that's my i went to a wedding with some friends and my brother we can put that down. Um, so that right there is risk management, guys. Understand understand risk. Um, for those of you not willing to do all that work, then you might as well just join our Discord. Um, be a VIP or something. Shout out to our new patrons, by the way. So Daniel Santana, you're going to be getting my trade alerts. So all of my trade alerts will be coming to your email instantly. Shout out to Daniel for becoming a new Patreon. Jin Kim. Shout out to Jin Kim. You're going to be getting the VIP tier two. So you'll actually be getting uh, actually VIP tier one. So you'll be getting into all of our private live calls. Uh, Adis Mulahasik. Shout out to Adis for becoming a new Patreon. You're going to be getting all the trade alerts as well. Rochelle, you're going to be getting all the, uh, you became a Patreon. Thank you. David, you'll be getting the trade alerts and the private live calls. SM Hassan. Thank you for becoming a new Patreon, brother. You're going to be getting some good stuff as well. Let's go ahead and dive right back into this technical analysis. Get out of this. Uh, let's let's shrink me a little bit. It's not about me. It's about others, right? Um, so let's pull up some requests here. We have substratum. Let's look at substratum here. Or matter of fact, let's look at iota first and then pull up substratum. So where's iota headed, guys? By the way, anybody here feeling good? Why don't we give away a book? Let's just give away a book since we talked about the book before we get into this. We're going to give away the internet of money right now. For anybody anybody here that was paying attention, I want to ask you guys a question. What is... This is for the book, guys. Get ready to type. Because some of you guys get mad when you don't win. I don't want you guys to get mad. Somebody said, yes, this is helping. Awesome. I'm glad. I love you all. I love you too, man. Curry Powder, why do you need a graph for common sense? Yeah, right? I agree. He just wanted to zoom in on that picture. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, will BTC be the future of Satoshi intended? Should I just go BTC? 
Uh, I think you should diversify. I don't think you should ever jump into every... You'll go all in on one coin because what happens when that coin doesn't do it? Can you please look at Saya coin? Looks promising. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Um, we'll do that for sure. And let's get ready for the question. So this is for the book, guys, the Internet of Money um, by Andreas Santamales. What is the name of the largest hedge fund founder that wrote principles? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Shout out to Ernie. Thank you for becoming a super chat. What's his name? Let's see who wins. Bam. Galinoff 17. Galinoff 17 said Ray Dalio. Nobody said it before him. Right there. Garish. SK said risk management Ray Dalio increased the number of coin diversified. I don't think that was the actual that was right before the question was asked. So yes, Galanith17, message me on Discord. You won, brother. You won. Message me on Discord, private message me. The Discord link is in the description below. Send me a message. Let me know who you are, and then we'll verify your account and get you that book. And we'll do another giveaway at the end of this, guys. So Let's uh let's look at IOTA. Let's pull up the technicals here. Let's get back to business. So RSI is extremely low. Let's see why. Mm. And this does happen quite often. So typical, typical channel break, guys. So pretty much what happened is we broke through this channel. We saw this happen twice, it looks like here. Um, so we're finding support levels right now, right around two two hundred twenty seven thousand satoshis and we're forming this channel here and it looks like we broke out of this channel we were on top of the ema and then suddenly we saw this sell-off what does that mean that means people were looking to sell and take profits and the buying demand just didn't exceed the selling demand so at this point what i would say is we're back in this channel and being that we're back in this channel now there's a potential for prices to fluctuate within this channel. So it doesn't mean that it's going to just jump right back up. This means that we're back within the channel. This could certainly see prices start heading back down around this channel. So I would be a little bit cautious to where the price is right now for IOTA being that there is no channel forming. You look at this whole graph here and, you know, we're under the EMA at this point. So we're not even over. There's no indication of price movements heading up. The one thing I like about it is we're still close to the 50 day. So as long as we stay close to the 50 day, it could show some support. And that means that we're in good price levels. We won't see a dramatic drop. And as long as we don't see a dramatic drop, then we'll all be fine, right? As long as there's just minor fluctuations, then I'm sure none of you guys will be worried. And hopefully we don't see dramatic drops like this. Now, the one thing about IOTA, which concerns me, is we continuously get ourselves back in these descending patterns. You know, you see it here, you see it here, you see it here, and even here it was kind of just channeling itself. There's just not as much upward price movement. And when that occurs, you know, you see here downward, this that went up, but down once, down twice, down three times, down four times, it does go up quite a bit, but for the majority of the time it's going down. So I would say, let this chart mature a little bit because we saw the significant drop that changes everything right now everything is changing all the numbers all the arithmetic is altering at this point and everything is kind of morphing into what's going to mature and the chart that's going to become so i would say to wait with iota right now i, I wouldn't put any price movements even if we clear these graphs i mean you could argue that there is some support here around 260 260 000 satoshis but how reliable really is that you know so what I would say in this point is to, to just kind of caution. Um, you can see here it kind of rounded itself about. Um, I wouldn't consider this a cup and handle or even a rounding bottom being that it formed this overstretch here. If you guys don't know what those are, those are different price patterns that are indicated here. If you guys go to our Discord, Trading 101, Pennant, Cup and Handle, Ascending Triangle, Triple Bottom, Descending Triangle, all of this stuff is here. This is a free resource open for all of you guys watching right now. This is something we made for you guys. The link is in the description below. And then if you didn't win the book, you guys can go to Helpful Reads and just check that out. So let's move on to our next request, guys. Post it in the comments. Let's take a comment request here. I know we got a couple super chats. 
Let's look at the super chats as well. You guys will be noticed for sure. Um, let's see what we've got here. Somebody's saying Ray Dalio still. Please don't forget VEN analysis. Thank you, Stan. We'll do VEN. Thank you, brother. Congrats on 20,000. Thank you, Coco Neal. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. Seriously, that means a lot. Look at all the Ray Dalio. You guys are paying attention at least, right? Unless you just looked at somebody's answer and then copied it. <laughs> kind of like school, right? My mentor said, he said, everything that um, everything that I got in trouble for in school, like copying and talking to people, was what made me a multimillionaire. I'm like, well, that's a pretty good statement. That makes a lot of sense because most jobs that pay significant amounts require talking and networking, right? So somebody said fun fair, bad wolf. Franco said Tron. We'll look at Tron. How about that? We also had a super chat for Tron. Let's pull up TRX BTC. See what we've got going on. Woo! Look at that baby, guys. Oh man. So classic, classic, classic. Love this. Um man, I I don't know why it's so exciting for me to watch graphs now. Um you guys can see this formation here we saw this cup and handle form if you guys don't know what a cup and handle is i'll show you guys here on the discord go to trading 101 if you guys have double monitor screens let's see who has double monitor screens who here has double monitor screens say yes in the chat if you have double monitor screens say yes in the chat let's see who here has double monitor screens so i'll show you guys a quick little technique that i use with my new setup here double monitor screens which I don't know why I'd never had them until now because they're so useful. Uh, somebody said, yes, triple. Somebody said, triple. I have six monitors. Cody has six monitors. Blackfeet said, triple. Four. Tito has four. That's sick, dude. 16? George has 16. George, send me a picture of your 16 screens, bro, on Discord. I don't believe it. I'm not calling you untrustful. I'm just saying I don't believe that's possible. I'm not saying that. I mean, of course, you go to NASA's headquarters. Of course, they got 16 screens sitting there. They got 24 screens if, if they wanted, right? They got tons of screens here. Um, but that is awesome. That's good. That's that's a good amount of screens right there. Went ahead and opened up some more. Awesome. Somebody said... <laughs> I have three screens. Why just get three? Get four, right? Get an even number. Extra bytes, XBY. Check out this coin, yo. All right, we'll have to look at that too then. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up these requests, guys. So if you have multiple screens, this is what I would do. I would look at our Discord on one side if you're new. This is for the newest traders or any pattern. It doesn't have to be our Discord, but this is an easy resource. And then just pull this up on one screen and pull up another screen. And just look for a pattern. Do one pattern at a time. You know, you guys can tune into our nightly live streams. We do this every night. We do a video in the day, a, a, lively, uh, a live stream at night. You can learn, but you can also self-teach yourself. You can help yourself. You know, the best form of education is self-education because it's intentional. Um, so you pull up the, uh, the cup and handle, right? How does a cup and handle look? This is how a cup and handle looks. You see this initial breakout followed by this rounding bottom, followed by minor consolidations into a breakout. And then you pull up this right here, same exact thing. You see that initial run up, you see the mine, the, the rounding bottom, initial consolidation popped right up. All of that is predictable. See, you could have predicted this price pattern and made profits, right? So right now though, what is the price doing right now, right? I would say at this point we're forming some support levels and we're forming some mature patterns. Looks like we're finding some support right around 475 Satoshis. We found heavy resistance right around 574 Satoshis. And I would let this chart mature a little bit. We're on the EMA. We're not over it anymore. We're close to the 50 day and we just came out of this huge run up after the cup and handle formed. So I would say let this chart mature a little bit. It's kind of how Litecoin was when it first saw that rally. And then ended up kind of maturing itself, but it ended up going down. So what if this starts going down, right? So I would say at this point for Tron, we, we saw this nice run up. I'm, you know, I'm kind of mad that I didn't get in on it. I just wasn't watching. I was watching other coins. And now we're seeing this minor consolidation forming this horizontal ch channel. I would say let it mature a little bit so you have more confidence at what's going to happen following this channel. 
and going from there. So hopefully that added some value. By the way, guys, um, let's take some requests through our Discord as well. Somebody said, are we doing a Night Owl tonight? Yes. So our Night Owl is going to be on our Discord. So I know this is a monologue type of conversation here. I'm talking to you guys. You can't talk back through your screen to me. But we're going to change this up tonight like we do every night and do our Night Owl. It's going to be open to everybody. So typically it's just patrons only or it's open. This is going to be open. And you guys go on this left-hand side on our Night Owl. Click Night Owl chat and we will be unlocking this area soon. It's locked right now. But we'll have our admin team lock that and we'll have our leadership team there, our admin team there, as well as some of our analysts um, and our promoters. I think we'll also have our developer and some moderators in there to, for you guys to chat along, introduce yourselves to our team, and then also ask me questions. If you guys are introverts, you don't want to plug in your microphone, you can just listen in. There's going to be hundreds of people there like always. So just so you guys know that, that's going to be tonight on our Discord. By the way, Discord has a mobile version, a web version, and a desktop version. So it's a free resource. There's no ads. It's the platform we chose to bring you guys the best quality resources for cryptocurrency. So we have this little tool section that is used every single day by different traders. And then we have our crypto chat here. So for those of you that are new, just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that. And let's go ahead and look at our other request here, substratum. So we did have a request for substratum and I do have a graph already pulled up here. So very easy guys. When you look at this chart, What you're seeing, if I make this, guys, we'll give away a book. <laughs> I made it. We got to give away a book, guys. Book giveaway. All right. What is, let's see, book giveaway, guys. Let's see who is paying attention here. So how about we do this? What is the, uh, let's see. All right. We talked about the ICOs, right? Maybe that's a bad one, right? Um, okay, we'll do this. So from the chart that we just looked at, what was the pattern that was formed on that chart right before this chart we just pulled up? What pattern was formed? Somebody said cup and handle right here. Right away. No way. No, all right, no, we got to redo this. Wesley said cup and handle, but that was before I even mentioned it you guys are just no, no no we can't do that i wasn't i didn't even ask the question yet all right you you guys want to play around you guys want to play with me i'll play with you then you guys want to play with me i'll play with you you guys were saying all this stuff that generic you guys are saying generic turn i'm not stupid you guys think i'm stupid i'm not stupid so you guys want to play with me i'll play with you all right here's what we'll do <laughs> Emma said lmao um all right this is what's <laughs> Charlie said, damn it, Wesley. <laughs> damn it, dude. Now we can't get into the theme park anymore for free. Somebody said, Ty Lopez. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Somebody said, you're a genius. I'm not a genius. I'm just not stupid. I'm, I have common sense. Gosh. So uh, here's here's a giveaway, guys. I, I always talk about this. So there's four things that I look for in an ICO when I'm analyzing it. What is the first thing that I look for? Let's see. Let's see. Bam, team, team. Somebody got it, somebody got it. It's the team, it's the team. So we're looking at this. So we got Satoshi's, HODL, Fiat, Ty Lopez. No, 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 no. And then Big Clay, no, your mentor, no, use, no, price, no, Emrys. Emrys got it. Hey, he's the guy that said uh, whatever, LMA or something. All right, Emrys, uh, join the Discord. Send me a private message on Discord and let me know you won. Um, and we'll verify your account and then we'll have that book sent out to Emrys. So good job, brother. Good job for you, man. Um, so... <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and uh, and dive right into this, guys. So this is Substratum. You can see, guys, we're forming this. By the way, somebody said, how do I get that book? Um, good question. If you don't win the giveaway, guys, just go under Helpful Reads, and you guys can actually see all of the books that I have here. These are my favorite books. I haven't added much because I want to add only the best ones, and I've read a couple of them that I was just kind of iffy about, but these are the ones that uh, I think could really add value. So you might not even like the Internet of Money. You might want to read a different book. You know, you might want to read Mastering Bitcoin. You know, you might want to read uh, Principles by Ray Dalio. These are all great books that could help you guys with understanding the blockchain and the investments that you guys are making. So, um, so obviously you see Substram, you see this channel back and forth, back and forth. Um, what I would say right now, just follow the channel, man. You know, at, at the end of the day, we could sit here and start drawing these triangles. Oh yeah, we've got this, you know, we've got this pennant forming here and this and that but let's not do that let's just let's keep this one simple guys even as a trader like myself i like to keep things simple sometimes you can get into all the patterns and stuff uh when you see a simple pattern just act as if it's a simple pattern don't over technolize it you got a clear channel here just you know if you're a day trader swing trade this pattern as it fluctuates you see it, the pattern kind of breaks here but for the most part we know where support is we know where resistance is and this is almost like common sense you buy low sell high buy low sell high buy low sell high if you want to day trade if you want to you know if you're a value investor buy at a good point here which this is a thin channel you can buy at any point set up your stop losses just in case typically value investors don't set up stop losses but i'd like to because sometimes in a bubble market like this where there's so much volatility you don't you know for me i don't mind setting my stop losses and then if there's a breakout there's a breakout so that's pretty much what I would say for Substram. Just follow the channel, see where it's going. Uh, you know, obviously it's going on this huge run up. I like Substratum as a project. I love the fact that they're trying to decentralize the web. If you guys know about Substratum, it's an awesome project. I don't think it's that close though. I don't. I think it's going to take a lot more time for it to actually happen. Um, you know, you pull up their website. They talk about the decentralized internet. So you see here, they want to decentralize the web. It's it's an awesome. You know, I think it's awesome. I just. I don't see it taking over in the next two to five years. I maybe in the five five to ten year mark, just because there's so much aspects to it that have to be done. You know, peer to peer networking and nodes need to be set up. Like there's not a lot to it. So, um, yes. So we did that. We did Litecoin. We did IOTA. Let's see. We did IOTA. We did Tron. We did ADA. I know somebody asked for ADA. We just can't. We have a lot of requests right now. I do apologize. Uh, but you can always rewind this video or tune in tomorrow. We'll do the other coins for sure. Um, we only can take in so many requests here. So let's do QSP. We did get a request for QSP BTC. I'll just kind of shotgun these requests here. I don't want to give you guys bad analysis. So I want to make sure that I'm really looking in here at what's happening, guys. So pretty, pretty simple here. I'll show you guys an example of this. So if you look at this pattern, we're forming some support right around 2,715 Satoshis. As you can see here, a clear descent there. If you guys want to know how to indicate this for yourself, just go down here. You can pull up these patterns. It looks like a falling wedge. It looks like a flat continuation. But in reality, what you're seeing in this case, I'd say a descending triangle. The reason I say that is it's starting to go down and then it starts to form this lower and lower forms a support so i would watch this if you were to trade this coin right now i would say be cautious at this point just based on this channel where it's forming rsi is obviously low um however we, we're not as confident that this is going to be the support level being that it just made this run up and it looks like these previous resistance are now becoming support too so that's a good thing i like when i see resistance turn into support because that shows a little bit of confidence there the fact that you've inversely separated those two aspects of the price and then when you look at the moving average on the one day let's go ahead and see how that looks here looks like it's not apparent apparently yeah it's just not enough chart data there for that one so what i would say in this case is to just be cautious at the fact that we're now seeing this minor consolidation after the run-up so the profits that were to be made for a coin like this were already made. And at this point, you really have to watch to see whether or not you're going to be able to take advantage of this curve. So um, we're going to be heading over to our Night Owl soon. I know, I know we didn't take every request, guys, uh, but understand that we are 
trying our best. We're going to do some more. We're going to do some more um, good stuff here. But I do want to give a couple shout-outs for our new Patreons that are going to be uh, here in our community now. We do want to say thank you for being Patreons first and foremost. Uh, we got some awesome, yeah, tons of new Patreons. Shout-out to Ryan Anderson for becoming a new Patreon. Thank you so much, Ryan. You will be receiving all of our trade alerts as well as our top five weekly picks. Andrew Brownell, shout out to Andrew. You'll be receiving our top five picks as well and our trading alerts. Robert Fraser, shout out to Robert. You'll also be receiving the top five picks and the trading alerts. Delshawn Harris, thank you, Delshawn, for becoming a patron. You'll be receiving all of our recordings. So Delshawn is at tier two. You'll be receiving all the recordings of all the night owls, all the live streams, all the live calls that we do. So it's called on the go. If you guys are on the go, you don't have much time. We have something set out for you guys. Since we do these night owls, we're going to record it, edit it for you guys, put that into production so you guys can actually have that on the go. All of that will be released to you guys um, exclusively. So shout out to that. Tino Luna, you'll also be receiving that. Thank you, YifS888, becoming a new patron. Dirk Tinley, thank you so much, Dirk. Guy Lightfoot just became a new patron as well. Shout out to Guy. Luis Washburn, you'll be getting those recordings as well on the go. Thank you so much, brother. Daniel Santana. Thank you, Daniel. Jim Kim as well. You'll be getting the private live calls access. Adis Mulahasik. Thank you, Adis. You'll be getting those trade alerts. Rochelle Khan. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. And let's go ahead and finish up some requests here, guys. And start to head over to our Night Owl tonight, which is going to be awesome. We're going to be talking about value investments. That's going to be our focus for the Night Owl here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. I know we have a couple super chats, so we do want to address them. Um, XLM for the win. Yes. Um, thank you guys for the, all the super chats. Seriously, Matthew said, did, "Why did you ban Bruce Wayne and Hugh Honey?" Well, you want? I mean, we you want? We, let's not talk about that, Matthew. Send me a message and I can show you exactly why I banned them. I mean, I I don't want to release personal information here. I think they're both great people. Um, and to be honest, I didn't even really, it's not, I don't really moderate the Discord. Other people do. But this is what I will tell you. On our Discord, we have very, very experienced traders there. We have a lot of investors. Like I said, I had a conversation for hours today with an individual that is part of our Dynasty team now. And, you know, he runs several multi-million dollar companies. I just can't have individuals in our Discord breaking the rules. You have to follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you're out of our Discord. That's it. No exceptions. We don't need you. Like, I, I'm sorry, like, I know it's kind of harsh, but we don't need you. We have over 12,000 members right now, and we don't need invaluable content there. We need only value-driven content. I know that's kind of harsh, but that's the truth, guys. Like, I, I'm straight up here, guys, and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to bubble this up, but at the end of the day, we, we don't, like, we, we are trying to build a community here. We don't have time for rubbish. We don't have time for stuff that doesn't add value or is productive. And I'm sure some of you guys would agree with that. Some of you guys might disagree, and that's fine. But that's just where we're at right now, guys. We have a team. We have a leadership team. We have an admin team. We need to make sure that things are in line. And, you know, immaturity isn't tolerated. And that's the fact. There's a one-time rule. That's it. You know, we just hit the top 20 largest Discord servers. Um, you know, there's awesome numbers that we're going to be talking about tonight at the Night Owl. But... Um, yeah, guys, we just don't have time for the, the that stuff. You know, we have an awesome team running this. We got Lando. Shout out to Lando, by the way. That guy's working so hard, guys. So thank you so much, Lando, if you are listening to this. He's one of our uh, leadership team leaders. And, you know, Sparks working right alongside with Lando. Uh, and then Alan, of course, my right-hand man. Uh, he's been helping out a ton. So that's just the fact, guys. You know, we're, we're trying to provide a community for the masses. not So we don't have time for little bits of, you know, drama here and there. I mean, that's not the point of this. And, you know, and, and we're going to enforce that. And that's the truth. You know, you have to have a verified phone number to be part of our Discord. We have the highest security settings on. Everything, you know, we try to make sure everything is done right. Everything we do is encrypted. You know, we have a lot of security measures to ensure this uh, community. I mean, everything has been planned out is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that. Um, now let's go ahead and finish up these requests guys. Do you, are you guys okay with that? I'm not just going to talk and then not get your opinion on that. What do you guys think? Is that fine? Is that all fine? Everything I said guys, is it fine to be a little bit stringent and have some standards? Is that fine guys? Somebody said everybody's saying verge. 
We're definitely gonna do Verge, guys, don't worry. We'll do Verge right now, if you guys keep asking. Is that fine? Yes, 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 that is good. Awesome, guys, good, love it, awesome. Awesome. Sim said, can't always count on three things during these live streams. He's going to give the great analysis. He's going to say Discord is a free and open resource available to all of you. And my mentor said Naeem. <laughs> I love that, Mike. Don't even know what that Ripple chat is anymore. Oh, by the way, we never banned Bruce, by the way, just to clarify things. He left on his own terms. So, Bruce, that's a different story. Andre Smith, 20 bucks. Thank you so much, brother. Love the channel, man. Just got tuned to you. Major props and keep doing your thing. Read XLM and REQ for us. 4chan shills them all the time. Yeah, we'll definitely check a look at all those. Let me make sure that's on our request list here. I know we have a ton of super chats today, guys. You know, we try our best to do everything. Um, obviously. So, X we're going to look at Monero and then we'll look at... Um, REQ as well. I'm sorry, XLM Stellar. Okay, so we'll look at Stellar. Thank you, Antonio. Appreciate the super chat, brother. Awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Somebody said, uh, never seem to do anything wrong. Awesome. What you did is fine. Baby, you're baby. I like that, Mitch. Awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and pull up Verge. Everybody's talking about Verge. We've been looking at Verge for a while. Why don't we just clear up all this gung-ho? Sometimes you just got to clear it all up, right? Let's look at what we've got here. So, all right. Some of you guys might be saying, okay, this is bad. I like this chart. And I'll tell you exactly why. I instantly can just look at a chart and say, all right, I like this chart. There's some good stuff about this chart. Some bad, bad stuff about this chart, but for the most part, this is a good chart. So in this chart... What we're seeing here, guys, pretty much um, we're seeing some support levels form here right around the 808 Satoshi level. We're seeing some clear resistance right around 1,889 Satoshis. There's obviously a channel forming here, um, and we're heading towards the bottom of this channel, slightly heading upwards at this point. Here's what I would say for Verge. Um, if you are a believer in the technology, it's a good time to buy. Why? Because it's been oversold after this huge run-up. Just like there's speculative value that brings the price up, there's also speculative concern that brings the value down. And that's kind of what you see here. Um, and what I like about this is you know where the support level is at. Therefore, you can set up your stop losses to ensure minimal profit loss. You can always set it up right under the support level. You can set up three layers. So you can set up 25% of your sell there, 25% there, and maybe 50% of your sell there. So you don't lose out on all of your profits if it does drop down. If you guys know what stop losses are, it's automatic orders. Uh, I'm, you know, um, Bitrix offers it, Binance offers it, most places offer it. So this is pretty much how I would level out this trade. And when looking at this, um, what I also can tell you is when prices are at this low level on the bottom of the channel if you guys are going to buy at the bottom of the channel there's two there's two ways to trade you can buy at the breakout you can buy at the descent and if you're buying at the descent you want to look for where are the support levels forming buy it as close to the support level as possible so that if it does start to drop back down and trigger these stop losses then you're still going to be safe and your investment isn't going to be completely gone and you're going to be able to you know maximize the uh you know, you're going to be able to make up your losses is what it is. Um, but if it starts to head up, you know that there's this channel already forming. You know it's done it before. It's done it pretty much twice. Once, twice, there's a probability that it may do it a third time. That's what swing traders do, right? Swing traders are more of the two to three day type of trade. Day traders are trading back and forth day by day. Um, so I would say at this point, it is at a good buying level if you're looking to get a position and you don't believe it's overvalued. It's also a good level for swing traders. It could also be a good level for day traders. You know, you can see there's previous run-ups. Other than that, any other patterns here? I would say right here you've pretty much got, let's see. Oh, wow. Interesting. So the EMA was bouncing here. Then it dropped under the EMA, back on top of the EMA, 
went under the EMA. Now it's starting to go back on top of the EMA. Let me see something really quick here about this one day. Um, wow. Okay, cool. So we're still close to the EMA. Surprising. I thought this saw two like a different. I thought the run up was a little bit more dramatic than that. But yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty much my technical with that. I mean, you've got a clear channel here. You can know where to trade this. I mean, th these are your channels here. So. Hopefully that helps out with XVG. I mean, um, I know the Wraith protocol, like it was released on GitHub. There were some minor bugs and stuff like that. So I would say with the Wraith protocol and Verge, as long as it releases and it does have the I2P protection with the private ledger and the option to use a public or a private ledger, which is what the Wraith protocol is supposed to implement, then the technology is definitely going to be advanced compared to Monero, especially with the transaction fees that you see with Verge versus Monero. However, Monero has larger market cap right now. They're also implementing their own version of their update protocol, which allows for I2P protection, which will then make it pretty much similar to Verge. The only difference is you can't turn it on or off. But if you can't turn it on or off, I mean, why just use the same currency? You can always use a different currency. So, um, you know, I've heard different perspectives of that. Maybe we'll talk more about that at the Night Owl tonight. And we'll go ahead and look at some other requests here. Somebody keeps saying Ty Lopez. I don't know why people are saying Ty Lopez. Um, yeah, so let's take one of those requests. We did get XLM in that request. That was a $20 super chat. Let's, let's, let's do Stellar. This is in the title as well. So here's the interesting thing about Stellar. I'm glad we're pulling Stellar up now because I wanted to talk to you guys about what does it mean when the EMA is going in and out of itself, right? This is a healthy EMA pattern. The fact that it's bouncing on top, kind of finding its ground, bouncing on top, finding its ground, bouncing on top, finding its ground. This is a little dramatic here, but then it bounced right back on top. So you can see it's following the EMA. It's close to the 50 day. And in my opinion, what we're seeing right now with XLM is an ascending pattern that's going to continue to ascend. And if you guys remember when we called this breakout, I told you guys if it broke out of this area, that your stop losses should be set here. I actually drew this out for you guys. So here's another thing you guys can look at with EMA, and I haven't talked about this on the stream yet, but the EMA exponential moving average, if you guys want to know how to insert that, just go here, type in exponential moving average or EMA it stands for moving average exponential. And then you can literally draw like an arrow here to signify where price movement is headed. And that's exactly what we did here a couple days ago on the live stream. And I told you guys, hey, prices look like it's about to break. And especially if it goes past this channel, then that right there could trigger a buy order so you can make profits and you would have profited on that. But EMA is still pointing up. You know, it's showing some slight horizontal movements, but it did point down here, went back up. Um, what I would say right now, if you're trading XLM, be cautious at the price movements and the volatility and set up your stop losses properly to ensure that you are covering your losses if perhaps it does end up dropping significantly in value just be careful and kind of follow it as it trails up so what i mean by that is you, you know if you're putting a buy order and follow it you know follow the order stay you know s continuously watch it it's not like there's this you, trading a descending or an ascending channel is a little bit different than trading a horizontal channel that has a potential breakout point you know, with these channels, you really have to be cautious. Okay, when is this thing going to start consolidating? When is the run-up going to stop? Um, I don't like trading these ascending tra uh, channels as much. I like to trade here where I know there's a breakout and then make those profits. So that's what I would say right now for XLM um, if you are looking to make a position in that. And let's go ahead and look at our request. I know we have Rivets, BCN, Colex, QSP, Ven, Modem, Sciacoin, Ven, Extrabytes, REQ. Sorry if we don't get through all of them, guys. We just have so many requests, guys, and that's fine. I'm sure we have even more requests, um, but at the end of the day, we're doing as much as we can here, and the rest can be done on Discord. So let's see. Thank you guys for the super chats. This does mean a lot. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Stan. VEN analysis, please. VEN analysis. We got VEN. Do ADA soon, please. I want to hear your opinion. And my first Coke is just fine. My first name Coke is just fine. XBY. That's still on our list. I'm heavy in XCG. Hot or so. I'm sure you've gone over this, but I just found your channel. Love it. Keep it great. Thank you, Lance. Um, for XVG, being that we pulled that up earlier, let me just mention this one really quick. So with XVG, what I would say is I don't ever buy at low points if I'm not a profit. 
I'm holding XVG right now. I'm not going to sell. I bought like right around here. Um, I took this whole breakout. I didn't want to day trade it because I have this kind of like as a long term investment. So, you know, it's coming back to support levels. You know, I don't see, I don't like, I, I don't sell in the red, guys. Most traders sell in the red, buy in the green. I don't get it. You want to buy in the selling price, guys. Who here wants, why don't we ask a question? Would you guys rather buy something that's on sale or at retail price? Retail or on sale? What do you guys say? Let's see what happens. Retail or on sale? Retail or on sale? Let's see. Somebody said... Funfair. <laughs> Somebody said... Sale. Somebody said subbed. Somebody said... On sale, Ricky said retail. <laughs> Ricky T always going against the grain, huh? Ash said sale. Jonathan said something. I think he said sale. Um, resale, bargain shopper, rocking it. Naim, you're a machine. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Black Friday. I like that Black Friday wholesale. Bryce said wholesale. Ron said on sale. William said free. Well, you probably never mind. Let's not get political here. Dylan Ward said for free. Wholesale, wholesale, awesome. Window shopping. <laughs> I don't buy. I window shop. So you want to buy something on sale? So buy in the red, guys. What are typically sales? The guys. If I type in on sale on Google, what is the color that comes up? So. By the way, the market, you're buying and selling, right? So on sale, what color pops up when you put on sale? Oh, whoa. I'm so confused. I thought we're supposed to buy in green because we're spending green paper. So we might as well just buy the green and use our green paper. No. You take your green paper and you exchange it for red paper. Or in this case, red. Isn't that cool, guys? You can type in on sale and it's red. That's what you want to buy in. So don't sell don't sell don't sell your on sale item. Keep your on sale item and sell it at a retail when the prices are high. TDS said, I see what you did there. <laughs> Calm down, Naeem. Yeah, I probably should be a little calmer at 202 AM, right? That's twice in 20 minutes, Naeem said he was gonna look at VEN and then went to XVG. Christopher, all right, we'll look at VEN, man. All right, so, hmm, interesting. Let's pull this up here. Um, you got some clear ascending patterns here, of course. You know what I would say in this chart? Sorry, I'm just testing my... Sometimes I like to. What I would say with a chart like this, guys... I think this is a little bit too... Uh, this is too steep. Um, I would like to look at the market cap on this one. Because... V-Chain... V-Chain... 775 million, not bad. Rank number 42, 21% high. This is a little steep for me. Um, just saying, you know, you can see it's slightly starting to curve. It really saw a lot of steep growth here, steep growth here. And then typically what happens with this one is it steeps up, curves out, steeps, curves. So if it starts to curve back up, what I would do with a coin like this, if, if, if it's historic patterns you know it goes up and then it curves what i would say is look for this look for this point at which it curves so let me so you you see this area right here you you can tell it breaks out because it breaks out of the channel so what i would do at this point is draw this out as a channel and watch the price pattern at these levels so you see support right around 16,000 Satoshis. And then you've also got some resistance. And both peaked out in different areas. 
I would say to watch this channel. If it breaks out of this pattern, it could certainly see some more price movement heading up. But if it starts to consolidate and head down, you can certainly see this price going down negative. So that's what I would say. Watch this channel. It's a little bit harder because it's so steep. You see this huge, it's parabolic the way it goes up. But then it's still on top of the EMA right now. It's right by the 50 days. So that's not bad. What I would say at this point is to continue to watch this for another breakout. So you're looking for these breakouts. I'll show you an example here because you, you guys can use this for a lot of coins. Um, but you see these really thin channels are easy to spot breakouts. That's what I like about these thin channels. So you could have followed this one. Even if you were following it from this left-hand side, you just follow, follow, follow. Don't purchase, don't purchase. And then bam, as soon as you see this right here, bam, I would have bought right here because I would have been like, okay, this is breaking out now. That's called confirmation when you buy at the breakout. And then you would have been able to profit off that. So do the same thing I just drew out here, but do it in this scenario. So hopefully that helps out. Wow. Somebody said, when do we get the Patreon trade alerts? So if you're a Patreon, you're going to be getting those trade alerts on Patreon on a daily basis. We actually post them to the Patreon. Matter of fact, why don't we just go ahead and give out some quick shout outs to our new Patreons. Shout out to... Jatin, just for becoming a new Patreon, you're going to be getting your trade alerts. Christopher Keenan, you'll be getting your trade alerts as well, brother. Clint, you'll be getting trade alerts. Abl Albu Gihorje, I like that. You'll be getting your trade alerts. Nicholas Alzeo, you'll be getting trade alerts, brother. And then Demetrio Rutgaya, he went with the tier two. So you actually be getting the trade alerts, the top five picks. You'll get access to our live calls and... You'll get all of the recordings of everything to ensure that you are set in place while you're on the go and you don't have much time because that's meant for people that don't have much time. You got kids, you might have a husband or a wife, you're busy, a spouse, maybe an elderly, like a grandmother. All right, let's go ahead and finish up these requests, guys. I know we got tons of requests here. We just can't do it all. Um, what I will tell you, though, is we are going to be heading towards our Discord, guys. Um, we're going to be doing a Night Owl tonight. The Night Owl is going to be exclusive to all of you guys watching this live stream. So head over to this area. I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys. So under live stream, Night Owl. Oh, it's already opened up. So we already got a full house here, guys. You guys can come in now. And the link is in the description. There's a mobile version, a desktop version, a web version. This is where we actually talk back and forth. You guys can ask questions for me. My leadership team, my admin team, my moderator team, my promoters, developers, our analysts, whoever you want, will all be in there for the most part. And you guys can ask us questions. We'll all see you guys there in the Night Owl tonight. Um, it's going to be a, a fun Night Owl tonight. We're going to get uncensored, guys. And once again, guys, um, if you guys haven't read your books, understand what you're investing in. It's the most important part of investing, guys. If I didn't understand distributed ledgers, I didn't understand the difference between decentralization and centralization, I wouldn't have been able to even look at EOS and say, okay, this is an Ethereum on steroids. Or look at Stellar and say, okay, this is the same as Ripple. It's a fork of Ripple. And it also wants to establish a different type of uh, mission. And see, I was able to make investments based upon my knowledge that I gained from books. So I highly recommend it, guys. Um, if you go to our helpful read sections right here, all the books are here, all my favorites. Um, but I know we got tons of requests, guys. I wish we can do all of them. Um, man, you know, I know we got tons of requests, guys. Um, you trust. How do you buy an ICO? Thanks again. You're very welcome. Thank you, Andre. Um, God, for your rocket and I am your machine. Yes. How do you buy an ICO? Um, I look at four different criteria, Scott. The team. The mass adoption potential, the ability for it to solve a problem, and then number four, what is your intuition? XLM for the win. You trust versus QLC. I am FOMOing. Uh you know, you, you can't FOMO, man. Johnny said five bucks. Thank you, brother. Awesome, guys. I know I didn't take every request. I tried my best. Um, it's just Sometimes you get worn out. We do this live stream every single night, though. So we're all going to be heading towards our Night Owl tonight, guys. Thank you all for becoming Patreons. Um, I will be posting all of my trade alerts tomorrow as well. As soon as I get up, um, I pretty much get straight to that. And I'll give a couple shout-outs here. Demetrio. Shout-out to Nabi Dre 
for becoming a new patron. Thank you so much, brother. And with that, guys, we're going to start heading towards our Night Owl tonight. So the link is in the description. Follow our Discord. This is a free resource for you guys. You have tons of places here. If you guys want to post the video on our Sniper Tubes channel and gain some exposure, if you guys are just now getting into YouTube, starting your cryptocurrency channel, then you're more than welcome to do that. It's under the Opportunity tab here. We also have the... Uh, the area here that you guys can actually go in and see all the resources that we use, all the charts, the best hardware wallets, the best exchanges like Binance is one of my favorite altcoins exchanges. Um, all the tools like Coin Market Cap, Crypto Calendar is pretty good. Tax information is here as well. If you guys want to understand the new tax laws, this is a tax tracking tool. Um, all of that is here under our resources in our Discord. But we're gonna be heading over to our Night Owl guys. We already got a packed house. Looks like it's more than packed. Um, the link is in the description below. Just go on the left-hand side under live stream. Click Night Owl right here. You have to turn on your push to talk. Click your settings. And then just click uh, voice and video. And then click push to talk here. You have to have this enabled. It can't be under voice activity for you to get in. So, yes. Did you guys enjoy this live stream? Did you guys have fun? Let's see what you guys say. Thanks, Naeem. Thanks, Alan. Yes. Awesome guys. Good to have you, Daniel, Will, Sion, Mr. Parker, Jonathan. Good to have you guys. Paul S said snipers out. Paul, hopefully you got your thing figured out, brother. Fire Clan said yes. Dave Mickworth said no. Unfortunately, Crystal Ball said maybe. It's, it's kind of creepy. You got that weird icon. Now you're saying maybe. Good stuff. Awesome guys. Well enjoy your time. Glenn said you didn't do my coin. What was your coin again? I'm sorry, Glenn. Uh, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Let me see, Glenn. What was your coin, brother? BCN. I'll do BCN real quick. I apologize, man. I try my best. BCN, BTC. Easy. Very easy, Glenn. Look, same thing we saw earlier. You got a support level right around 40 Satoshis. This is a very small coin too, by the way. You got support level right around four or resistance at forty-eight. Let me pull this up really quick. What is the total market cap? I don't trade anything under a uh, hundred million. Well, this is pretty big, so that's good. So we're at oh, that's why max supply one hundred eighty-four billion, rank number thirty-three. What I would say, Glenn, I'm gonna look into this. This is interesting. I've that's a high market cap. But or max supply what I would say follow this pattern bro people are making tons of money off this one pattern right here swing tr uh, day traders are just easily bam buy sell buy sell buy sell people are just banking on this one and then you can also bank and find your buying position so if it drops below that's indication it's going to drop down it'll probably drop down back around previous support which is around 28 satoshis but if it goes up it'll test its all time high around 66 satoshis and that's what always happens with these types of patterns so this is a really good pattern guys bcn btc it's forming these clear channels here which can indicate amazing price movements um being that it's so trackable and predictable so hopefully that helped out brother um and we'll start heading over to our yeah that's it guys Thank you so much for watching, guys. And with that being said, guys, like always, snipers out.